Hi, my name is Nkenny, and I'm one of the developers of the LAMPS Danger FSM, an AI enhancement mod for Arma 3. This is the third video of a series, and in this one I'll be discussing and showcasing how our artillery system works. To do that, I will be walking us through a demonstration and also explaining the theory behind what we're seeing on the screen. The first thing to say is that LAMPS has a autonomous artillery system. It is one which is uh, fully governed and called by the AI. But in line with our design principles, it is something the mission maker must set up, personally activate. So it will not disrupt already existing videos. And that leads us to the first question. How do you register artillery with of a given faction. How do you assign artillery to a faction? And there's a number of ways to do this. The ideal way is to use a module like I've done here. Uh, these are of course found under the module list, task artillery register, and you can just draw a line to it like so. And now that unit is registered. Uh, I've done some on the side here. We can see that this group has been registered and now both guns will be uh, ready and available to the AI. It's worth mentioning at this point that even if a group of artillery is available, the AI will only call one and one gun at the time. That's just a design consideration which was done. There are a few other ways to set up the artillery system beyond the module. You can actually double click the unit itself, scroll down to the very bottom and uh, register it as lamps artillery. So long as it's manned, has a big, ammunition available and is actual an artillery piece, it will show up in that side's uh, artillery uh, pool. Uh, you can also uh, run this function on it directly uh, on the vehicle or on the group itself is, uh, is fine. Perhaps if you have a more dynamic mission and you need to constantly add and add artillery, uh, you can do so like that. And there's also the legacy way, which I've done here on the uh, on the blue four mortar, which is to put down a register artillery waypoint. These systems are all identical, they work the same. Now for this mission, I'm actually not gonna have all of these artillery pieces present. A single gun is more than sufficient, and we can now have a look at the units themselves. So I have set up a scenario where two red four uh, groups are attacking a single blue force unit located down in the valley. Now these red force troops uh, have been given a waypoint, a move waypoint down into the valley, and there's a blue force here with no orders at all. They're just stood around. In their support they do have an HMG. We might see them try to man that during the combat. Uh, this is more like a demonstration of that uh, because it does happen in the same autonomous manner. Now, in order to make this a successful showcase, I've actually uh, made every unit invulnerable. I've done that in order to have a sort of enough time for Blue 4 or Red 4 to actually call in the artillery. If not, I mean, two squads ambushing a single unit like that with no, barely no cover, it's not going to end well for that uh, Blue, 4, uh, Blue 4 unit. To initialize the scenario, I've set up myself with a sniper rifle and I will be firing a single shot into the blue four. Uh, the reason I do that is because I want them to react to me and start suppressing or shooting, which in turn will reveal them to the other uh, squads much earlier. I could have just let it run by itself, but it would have meant that the red four would have gotten much closer to the enemy and the closer they are, the less likely they are to, to actually call in artillery. I think the cutoff point is around 200 meters. So what happens when a unit calls in artillery? It is actually identical with what this our task artillery module does. I'll get back to that uh, uh, later, but what will happen is that it's typically the group leader. He will make that assessment. He will then um, make a call for artillery. He will see if there's a, a gun available. He'll seize that gun, and now there will be a period of of delay before this happened. The first type of delay is a calculation time. Uh, shooting artillery is not instantaneous. The calculation time is typically somewhere between 30 and, and right over uh, 30 seconds and right over a minute. Uh, and 
this uh, this is also based on the range to the artillery piece the gun will now fire one or two check rounds uh, or adjustment rounds around the target site itself before proceeding to hit with the main salvo and the main salvo will actually hit on the target typically in a, a cone shaped fashion moving away from uh, from the from the forward observer now during that entire period the forward observer must uh, remain outside 200 meters and also not be dead so if you manage to identify who's calling the artillery and shoot that soldier early no artillery strikes is coming for you for mission makers or or, or um Zeus players that should give you some uh, explanation of why you're sometimes not seeing autonomous artillery being called it might just be that your players are really fast at, at, at killing the um uh killing the spotters there is another concern of course uh, the artillery system is linked to the danger fsm which means that the unit must actually be in contact in danger in order to call it so if you were to set up uh like a forward observer team here and just set them to stealth and and uh and hide them like that and they would are never in threat never in actual combat these guys will never call in any uh, autonomous artillery like that we are in fact working on features closer to that uh, for future releases but at the time of this video that feature is not implemented it will be feeded uh, fed into our sort of AI profile system where you will be able to set up forward observers who will have a higher priority to call in supportive fires of various types including cast stuff cast stuff is again not implemented but its implementation will most likely follow what you're seeing in this video very closely essentially you will need to register an airframe with that side and then it will become available for these autonomous strikes and have a similar set of requirements in order for them to be successfully pulled off enough about the theory let me start the scenario and we can see what happens so left hand corner you can see uh, i have a number of debug messages enabled we can see that east has registered a single weapon whereas west has uh, also re registered a single weapon the variable i'm highlighting right now side artillery hash will actually you can actually read that directly to see which gun is is available to to uh, to what side so proceeding with plan i'm going to fire a single shot into uh, one of these soldiers he is of course immortal so he will uh, not be particularly worried about that but most likely yeah we can see blue four is already trying to suppress my last known position uh, but beyond that they're also trying to converge on whatever cover they can actually find now of course red alpha and red beta uh, have uh, crossed the crest of the hill and they're starting to shoot down into the valley if i go to the map screen we can see these circles they of course represent shared sharing communication range and uh, it must be added that the communication range has no bearing on the offensive um, fire support that kind of accounts for the uh, for the uh, delay it is not about the shared information it's, it's that uh, it is as simple as that so what are we seeing see that these three reactions to fire here you might notice that they're not perfectly on top of me and that is because even though blue four the while they took a hit and knew that I was up there uh, the AI does not have a perfect laser accuracy or knowledge of my position so they were actually believing that, I, that the shot came here-ish rather than from uh, from behind the bush uh, there I was that's um, an interesting aspect of oh and you can see it way back here as well they do not have perfect knowledge of where enemy fire is is coming in from uh, and you can see this is a fair distance right uh, so it's a it's an interesting aspect right there uh, the error message you're seeing is a known factor it is actually fixed in the uh, next version um, it's only shown when uh, debug mode is enabled and this has no bearing on the So these guys, you can see they have entered their contact state, 
I mean, that was the communication uh, mode we looked just a moment ago, and we can see that they've uh, actually moved over to an order flanking, and also quite quickly after called for artillery. Uh, these other guys are also trying to flank. The flanking maneuver has been explained in another uh, video, but you can see that these guys are actually maneuvering quite hard to get a, a better bead on the uh, enemy. We also saw that these guys are trying to call in uh, artillery, and like mentioned before, there's a fair amount of delay here. Now that message has been sent, artillery is cal calculating thinking, and it'll take a bit of time until we get the uh, artillery. Enemy fire! We can see that Blue 4 didn't have time to man the gun, Red 4 recognized it and simply started uh, hitting it with probably explosives and it is now killed even before it got time to be manned. So that is part of the danger. You can see Blue 4 is in a bad situation, they're pretty much constantly panicked out, they're very much suppressed. Had they not been invulnerable they would have been, in a, in, well, dead by now, much, much before we get to see any, any uh, artillery action. These guys are fairly, out there is fairly spread out actually, but I think that is just part of the uh, uh, flanking routine, just making itself uh, felt. Uh, these beta here are also much more sort of rushing, uh, rushing in. And we can see now we have markers for check rounds coming in. Uh, Blue 4 has actually first check round from a, with a mortar way back here. Far, far way behind the enemy, and we'll have the same for the blue four. It'll most likely be a bit slower because the the soaker is of course uh, slower in calculating. Uh, this is, comes down to weapon configuration, has no bearing on the mod itself. There's no artificial added time in that sense uh, for 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 the for the aim time. When the markers come up, that's when they expect to be able to uh, to shoot. Motor number two has is firing two check rounds. Oh, and here comes the soccer. You can see that's a fair distance away, and that translates to what you might expect in a in, in a sort of authentic pattern. Uh, but it also comes down to good gameplay. Uh, when you're being hit by AI artillery like that, like there will be a period when when they're trying to get their bearing on you before they really start to hit you with uh, with what they've got. And we have the same thing here. We can see that the next incoming soccer rounds are significantly more accurate. It's a bit of random here as well, so I guess none of them landed on top of the blue four, or will be. We'll, we'll see how that pans out. And uh, yeah, actually the soccer just had a single check round before it was satisfied, and uh, the mortar is still at it. These guys are. Get spread out, but they're still providing very effective fire down into the uh, into the valley. Before I simply in a, in, a, in a very bad situation overall. Uh, there's an interesting aspect uh, as well here. Uh, you can see the mortar is coming in. You can see that it, the, the the main part of the squad has moved well away from where the mortar is hitting. Uh, this is again down to how of a the, the, the comm system work. When it was called, the blue four was over here. So if you are being hit by artillery, if you're seeing check rounds, oh, that was a bad hit. They would all have been dead now. Uh, by now, uh, then the, the you, you are actually able to to, 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 to to get away from it if you're, if you're fast enough. That's again part of our gameplay concern. Uh, red beta hire, no problem. We're just storming. Uh, storming past the sort of danger zone and um, well that's uh, that's really it for the autonomous system uh, these weapons once they have done uh, their fire missions will again become available to the, that faction again for future fire missions and they will be remain available like that until they're killed or run out of am ammunition or some other things should uh, should should happen to them there's no intelligence on them to move or anything like that, and that's simply f for a uh, want or even need of a more seamless integration. I, I'm sure a clever scripter could could uh, add something to that. Uh, that sort of company level AI is not part of the uh, mod at present, at least. 
So there you have it. There you have a, uh, a skirmish like that. Again, it, it gets a bit weird when these guys are uh, vulnerable. Uh, they're getting desperate, throwing all <laughs> all their smoke. Uh, Red Force just uh, is coming in. You can see they've been through many, many, many stages of uh, of, of panic. Leader, the West lead direction is trying to hide. Uh, there's no place to hide. They would have tried moving into buildings. like this but there's no buildings for them to hide in so uh, a bit of a contrived situation but it did show how simple and easy the artillery system really works uh, all you need is to place a single module on the map and in fact the AI will handle the rest in an autonomous manner goes without saying that artillery would not fire if they didn't have range or there was some other uh, thing in the way uh, now the final thing I'll do in this video is have a look at the Tusk Artillery uh, module itself. This can be placed both in Eden and in uh, Zeus. It's not... Um, well, we'll have a look at it. So if I open it up, you can see here is... You can call in artillery for different sides. You can set up the salvo. You can set up the spread. You can also skip adjusting rounds. If you were a Zeus and you put this down, you would still have that delay. That delay would be determined by the distance to the artillery and, and, and things like that. It might not even be able to fire if you're too far away. So when you are a Zeus and when you put down that module, instead of using a more direct fire waypoints or other options you have, just be aware that there there's many other concerns. It's not that it's not working. It's simply that it needs more time essentially uh, you can speed it up a bit by skipping the adjustment uh, rounds but it, but even so it is it is a fairly lengthy uh, process and uh, I think that concludes it. Uh, artillery very easy to set up all you need is a single module you could link uh, link your artillery pieces to that or just uh, add the uh, or check the checkpoint box or run the function or, or anything like that and for players if you are being hit by a artillery look out for the check rounds and if they're getting close get the heck out of dodge <laughs> i think that's it for me uh, thank you for uh, watching if you have any questions put them in the comment field of this video or better yet join our discord and ask us right there uh that's kenny out